Four years ago, my parents got a divorce. And then last year, they both got remarried to each other. <laughs> Which means I now come from a repaired home, everybody. <laughs> when you walk your dog, people ask the dog questions <laughs> that clearly I have to answer. <laughs> like, hey, little fella. What's your name? Here's what I learned about me. I will stand by for an awkward amount of time. She might actually answer the question. Tell them what your name is. Come on. Show them how you do that thing where you talk to people. They're like, dude, seriously, what's, what's your dog's name? I'm like, I don't know. She never told me. It's the only lasting relationship I have had is with my dog for the last three years. And the girl I was living with was like, you can't have a dog in our apartment. It's going to need all of your attention, and it's going to get hair everywhere. It's like, I could say all that same stuff about you. <laughs> Single women in their 20s feel like they need to go out in groups, you know, and they make it very difficult because engaging a pack of 20-something women is like engaging the pack from The Wizard of Oz. Because there's always the attractive one you're after, surrounded by a cast of characters all missing really vital shit. <laughs> My dad asked me to be his best man at their wedding. It's like a conflict of interest. So I was like, Dad, are you sure you want to marry a divorcee with two kids? I'm just saying from experience, her son is going to hate you. Okay. <laughs> I found the 99 cent store surrounded by cops. And uh, I just asked the dude, she was like, what the hell is going on? He's like, man, someone got held up in the parking lot. Like, of the 99 cent store? <laughs> How'd that go down? I was like, yo, man, give me all you got. Okay, okay. I could give you all I've got but it wouldn't change either of our situations that dramatically. <laughs> they just treat the bartender like he's the wizard. You know, he, they show up, he's like, oh, you've come to me to pour a remedy that will fix what is broken with all of you? I could try, I'm not perfect, but I'll do my best. Uh, you, miss, you, you feel you don't have a heart. Well consider yourself lucky. A heart will always be unpractical until it is unbreakable. But until that day, why don't you drink these two Long Island iced teas? <laughs> At the very least, we can lube up your jaw and loosen those limbs until one of these gentlemen gets to change your oil tonight. <laughs> and you, miss, you, you feel you don't have a brain because everything you say is stupid. <laughs> Not to worry, you know, people with far less brains than you have had deeper thoughts. But one thing they didn't have were these three gin and tonics. Those ought to have you talking about stuff you know nothing about all night. That's right, gentlemen, I've got a drunk gal with uh, no brain. Uh, keep an eye on this plan, B. Uh, I wouldn't leave you out, my hefty friend. You, you feel you don't have the courage to say what's on your mind because you are overweight. Well, I can't do anything about that. But what I can give you are these four margaritas and watch you spark off fights with your friends all night and cock block everyone. You are a beast. <laughs>